Hello and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. My name is Blue, alongside me is Joe Grande, and you are now tuned in to the greatest cannabis show on the planet. And that's right, you guys. Thank you guys for listening to our podcast all around the world. And check out our website, CannabisTalk101.com, as we are the world's number one source for everything cannabis. So many great articles on there, and you can still see some of the things from CanMed 2022 when we were out there and take a look at all the great people that we interviewed out there. We've got so many great things. Call us up anytime, 800-420-1980. And check out our IG pages at Cannabis Talk 101. Blue is at the number one, Christopher Wright. Hello. I am at Joe Grande 52 And if you guys are looking for a trusted cannabis seed at a fair price, you need to head to rocketseeds.com or on Instagram at rocket underscore seeds. On today's show, this cat right here, Bobby Warrender. Yep. Yeah, you Bobby hit it. Warrender. You now, hit it. It's a family-owned business, which I find out, which is dope. And you're the director of sales at Lifted Made, which Bobby has been with the company eight years. And like I said, family-owned business, which is interesting to hear. I can't wait to get to that story. Lifted Made is a premium hemp Delta 8 and cannabinoid-infused products company. They got so many amazing products on the website. You guys really got to check it out. It's liftedmade.com, L-A-F-T-E-D-M-A-D-E.com. On social media, though, they're at Herb finest cbd that's u-r-b-f-i-n-e-s-t cbd welcome to the show bobby thank you guys it's a pleasure to be here no yeah. it's great to have you dude yeah. so off top i heard you and your brother created this company talk about this amazing thing that you two come up with how does this even happen honestly uh we started as an e-liquid company um and we were one of the first e-liquid companies out there um it was really just kind of a uh a trial and error kind of thing, right? Uh, we started making e-liquids. Um, we started as just a juice manufacturer. Get a little closer. Get a little closer to the mic. Uh, yeah, we started as an e-liquid, like a juice manufacturer originally. Um, there was just a few of us. We were working in, out of a small little, I don't know, 10 by 10 room at, out of my parents' garage. Nice. And uh, we actually had our first break um, with a company called Vapeheads. It was our first like flagship line. And if it wasn't for the FDA calling us out during the whole... Uh, witch hunt against all the, uh, the <laughs> targeting the kids stuff. Uh, if it wasn't for that, man, we I don't know if we ever really would have gotten an actual break. So, you know, shout out to the FDA. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> How, well, what did they say to you guys? What happened? Uh, basically, they said that we were targeting children. And, I mean, you know, we, we, we made the brand. It was kind of a knockoff of Warheads. Um, and to be honest, to be fair, it, it was pretty close. It really was. You know, we were a sour e-liquid. Uh, company, um, our our packaging was pretty similar to the the original the Warheads. Yeah. Warheads, yeah, yeah, Warheads, yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the sour the, stuff. The, the thing coming exactly. off the head, yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of the coming off the head with you know the volcano, um, yeah. it was a coil, you know, it yeah, blasting out the the vape. So uh, that's that's how we got our start. And uh, when when CBD became a thing, um, we saw an opportunity to do something different. And we were actually the first company to make a vapable CBD product. Gotcha. Um, and we just continued to follow different trends and you know as soon as delta 8 became a thing we were one of the very first companies to jump into delta 8 fantastic and we had like one of the very first disposables in the country and that really catapulted our brand now d d with the cbd line you know um essentially coming out when you say the first uh, liquid you know, con consumption for a CBD product, right? Is it was first vapable. Yeah. Vapable. So, so, so we explain that. Yeah. Cause I, we that's married, a, yeah, we, we basically married the, um, the concept of an e-liquid with the CBD. And back then it was all isolate, right? Yeah. CBD isolate was really the only form of CBD that we had. So we basically mixed it with the same thing that we were making juice out of created yep. a, a vapable product. Um, and it helped a lot of people. Yeah. You know, it, when you're saying that, right, it's interesting. Cause I think of the, 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 the tobacco, the big pans that you fill right. yourself. That's what we're talk talking exactly about. That's exactly what we're talking and about. And then you're hitting that big, those big hits. And I thought, well, damn, that would actually be a, probably a better, um, you know, uh, delivery system than some of the the pins that are out there for the CBD stuff, you know, right. because it's not quite. They can't necessarily get the same doses that they can from that right. e, e liquid, right? I right, mean, Phil. Right. So th that's essentially what you came out. What was that called when you came out? Was that your brand or um, was it was just it brand? was just yeah, it was under Lifted. Um, we had a couple of different strengths. We had a, uh, the ruby, the emerald, and then the diamond. And the diamond being the thousand milligram, which was like a full gram of uh, CBD isolate in that matrix, which was at that time. Nobody had ever done anything quite like that. Yeah. So it was, it's a, it is amazing how, how fast this, this market has progressed. Oh, yeah. You know, um, going from, you know, just CBD isolates. Now we have full um, extracts that are coming from fresh flower. You know what I'm saying? We have live resins now. 
um, and THCO, THCV, THCP, all these different cannabinoids yeah, 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 yeah. that we, yeah. we really had no idea were even possible when, when hemp really first became a thing. So, yeah. And then the Delta-8 push, right, comes. Right. And, 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 and I, you know, I, I'm going to dive back. I want to dive back into some of the, the CBD product lines. But the Delta-8, you know, I, I'm sure you've went through some of the legalities that, that everybody's had to kind of go through, right? Because, I mean, at one day, I mean, I remember you we're all. You can sell it here. You can't sell it there. No, we're right. going to Vegas. <laughs> right, exactly. We're going to Vegas. Right. And two days before we're heading to Vegas, it becomes illegal to sell, you know. It's uh, crazy the hell they we did it on you. at Champs, right? We had to I put mean, tape oh, over that's right, right before Champs. Right. Right. Yeah, you remember. Yeah. Yeah. Changed the whole thing. And I'm, I'm, right. I mean, I'm obviously knowing that you were involved in all of that, right? right. I mean, you had to know, right. like, you know, like that you were part of all that. Yeah, I mean, we, so. we had to tape off anything that had Delta anything <laughs> right. on our. Sh- we, had to, we had to tape off our shirts, you know what I'm saying? It was. It was crazy. It was crazy. To think of the dilemma like that, you had to yeah. tape your shirts. These people that are just well, rocking, and, and, going and, and to an event have two empty days boxes, before. Right? Right. And empty boxes. All, all the products that you're taking out yep. there. You can't even yeah. take it into the showroom floor it's anymore. It's a big deal. Yeah. Let yeah. alone leave it in your room. It's, it's illegal now. I mean, yeah. that, there, there's the it's risk factor up there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bigger deal than your... It, you gave me chills right now, Blue, when you said that. Like, it, well, that's what I'm saying. I, you, you sound like, uh, uh, you know, you're clearly wow. one of the pioneers that were involved in all of those things, you know. And, and, and even going into that, I, I, I like to think, like, so how does does that you know somewhat help you at one point right when Delta 8 comes out and it shoots up there's no there's no real uh, regulations on it we all know that it's a, a some you know a subsidiary of the THC plant right so it becomes like a just the Delta 8 no more Delta 9s anything that has any psychoactive effect but it's still the Delta 8 so had like a psychoactive effect too right yeah very much so yeah very much so and it was a um, it's a it's a conversion from CBD right so they were taking CBD and they were converting it over to Delta 8. And that's, that was kind of the, where, where the, the, the legalities really started to get blurred, right? Because now we're taking what was totally legal product and creating a completely gray market product, sure, right? That's sure. now, you know, the, the big question that we got asked when CBD first became a thing is, does it get you high? And I think I might have got asked that question thousands of times. True. You'll probably do every day. Yeah. (laughs) And now it's like, we got something for you, bro. Yeah. (laughs) You're like, what kind of high do you want? (laughs) How high do you want to get, right? Uh, It's just so funny as you say that because Uh, as you can buy your products at a liquor store, for God's sakes, right? Right. And these products do on some people have that effect that, you know, will get them quote unquote high, which is funny and weird all in the same because then the same or somebody else can take that same product and feel absolutely nothing. I mean, if you eat any of the Delta Eight gummies, it's gonna hit you just like Delta Nine. Oh yeah, really? absolutely. Oh, yeah. It metabolizes in your through your liver and your system exactly the same way. Your body can't tell the difference. It's a little bit different when you smoke it. It's a little less psychoactive, but even still, like you're gonna feel it. One hundred percent. So eating it, you're gonna feel it a lot more than smoking it. Absolutely. The Delta it's, Nine. It's, and, and the thing about it is, is that I think it's a it's a workaround, right? When you don't know. Uh, that you know that what it does there's no legalities on it right so we know that there's a legality on delta 9 right Right. it has to be you know licensed and put through stores which is the psychoactive psychoactive effect that we get from thc but when we start talking about delta 8 and all of a sudden now it hasn't been put through those same criteria it hasn't been through the the testing facilities there's no real laws on it it's called a gray area and 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 and, and we tend to as as people in the industry you you know exploit that as for as long as possible Possible until all of a sudden they say, wait a second, it's illegal. And now it affects the bottom line for everything right. and all of your production. Right. And I think Texas is going through it pretty big right now. Texas, they made it illegal. But and then, then, then the, it back, the right? lobbying came through. And fortunately, um, they were able to basically re-legalize it. Well, and now we got other states like Louisiana that just legalized anything Delta related. But now you have to basically go through a very rigorous process. To testing. Your, right. Testing. And then you have to um, basically get licensed through the state. Um, where they basically make sure that everything is going through third-party lab testing um, and has gone through their verification process to make sure that it this is... This is all in Texas only, correct? No, is this it? is in Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, oh, wow. Um, each state is different. So it's a state-by-state state, um, type of... Type of uh, Regulation, yeah, yeah. Exactly. it's it's a regu- different. So even for California, it's it's completely different here, right? Right. You know, and and but again, you know, we're talking six months ago. I don't think there was any there was any understanding Nothing for of, it at all. Correct. Yeah. yeah six yeah. eight months ago, it was just like the wild wild west. We were in the full on like do whatever. Well, just you like you do. said, two days before champs and 
Col- or, or Nevada, right. and, and it changes right as a huge event. The biggest, the biggest, is huge. It's the biggest cannabis event in the country. You know, you got 40, 50,000 vendors. It's ridiculous. Well, when we come back, let's talk more about that. It's Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back after this break. Are you ready for the biggest concert of the year, you guys? It's the Burning Trees Festival, August 27th in Adelanto, California, performing live on stage. It's the boss man himself, Rick Rick Ross. Ross. Ludacris, Busta Rhymes, Too Short, The Infamous Mob Mob Deep, Deep. X to the Z Exhibit, Corrupt from the Dog Pound, all live on stage August 27th at the Adelanto Plaza and Event Center. Plus, you guys... The World Series of Cannabis is going down, presented by Canex, iHeartRadio's Cannabis Talk 101, Game Day, Green yes. Day Holdings, of course, dues, and The Blacklist. Green. All days. Did I mess it up again? Green <laughs> Holdings Group. Green Holdings Group. <laughs> green Holdings Group, man. You can keep Freddy, saying Green Day. You're going to punch me right now. I'm not going to let you do it. I Thank can't you. even Please let you don't keep let going. Me. I've got to stop you. I got, it. yeah. It's the day. I've got to change cool the order. He loves us that much. We, we, I'm sorry, yeah, Freddie. I love yeah. you. Please He doesn't me. even know yet, but I when he hears it. I'm going to tell him myself yeah, to him. He's an, <laughs> I'm gonna, matter of fact, I'm going to tattoo it on my thumb so I can just see his company on my <laughs> yes, thumb. Yes, I would do it. Would <laughs> what is that tattoo of my company there for? Don't worry. We got our guy Bobby here. Bobby, great stuff with the company, dude. Thank you. I think you guys started this. In the garage at your parents' house. Because you're a young Thank whippersnapper, you. yeah. and I Thank look you. at the website, and do you guys have, I feel like I want to say, is it fair to say damn near, like, it looks like hundreds of things. I mean, you guys got yeah. so many SKUs, it's Yeah, ridiculous. we have over 100 SKUs. Thank you. I was like, yeah. am I exaggerating yeah. by saying 100? No, not at all. Yeah, I felt yeah. like I was by going. You hear so many it's, things on it's here. It's kind of crazy. Let's start going through them one by <laughs> one. It's <laughs> kind of crazy. Good. We'll be here till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're here, yeah. let me go through a few Let's more. Let's make skews. some breakfast. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what's no. your favorite skews? Let's go over yeah, some there's of those so skews. Many. Let's talk about it. You know, I mean, but are you, wait, first of all, though, Bobby, are you guys still in the the vape side of things? Are we still doing vape? Or are we? No, uh, with we, with all the regulations with nicotine, we kind of um, we kind of walked away from from that side of the space. Um, they put a ton of le- regulations on there, and what had happened was. When, when we became a publicly traded company, we, mm-hmm. we have to do everything by the book. Sure. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And all of these uh, disposable vapes that you see out there, are none of them are compliant. So we decided to stay away from that, and we wanted to do everything by the book. Um, you know, with the, the main thing that we're about is traceability and putting out quality When you products. say disposable, none of them are compliant. What, what is, I mean, is that for THC or you mean CBD or... Because what, I, what did break that down? These. Those big ones. These Got ones. you. Right. At, the, at this time, right, they're not compliant, right? None of them are compliant. Right. Um, and and what, by what, the end of the year, they'll all be completely illegal here in California and most other and, places. And, but, but aren't they just because they only have to have t- tobacco flavored now, right? Well, it's the TFN laws. Um, we can get into that if you really want to. but Yeah, um, I do, but I don't want to today. I want to do yeah. it with you just because I have fun. <laughs> I have fun talking about it because I'm always thinking workarounds again, right? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. totally. It, it's totally. just, you know, that that's the big boom of the, where, where the gray areas is where the money's at right a lot right. of people don't realize that right. but as an upcoming as an upcoming business you know if you can find those gray areas write them out really well you're going to find that you're you, you're going to have some amazing amazing uh upside right. for your business and, and right. you know it's probably what you guys uh experienced at one or two points oh absolutely yeah hey, absolutely. Hey, hey, and who doesn't want those runs yeah. in life hey who wants to run in life that x amount of time you're gonna make a shitload of money right right but, but let's go into your your product lines what what product lines are you proud are the best of sellers. Yeah, best sellers top sellers are gonna be our disposables um we actually were the first company to do a federally compliant delta nine product that was widely available throughout the united states by staying under 0.3 percent thc by total weight 
And it was really just a ballsy play that we're just like, well, you know, they're, the way they wrote the laws is it's got to be 0.3% THC <laughs> or less. Why don't we put this in a hard candy or a gummy that's obviously going to weigh way more than flour, and we can hit that 0.3% THC um, without being in violation of anything that the federal government has said. So um, we put out a, a, a Delta 9 Pop Rocks and put that stuff everywhere. Yeah. And it was very successful. We did a, a Delta 9 gummy and then obviously our disposables have been Did they it, did they you know hit the throttle on you guys yet and or just you still you're fine still with the Pop Rocks? We're still okay. No, that's good. That's, still okay. that's good. That's yeah. why not? That means you, okay. you stayed on the you stayed the ground line. And then now, now the thing is there's so many other companies that are doing it. So we have insulation by not being the only company that's doing it anymore. Right, of course. Well and, and here's the reality. I mean, if you're doing it responsibly, you guys got a real company. It's not like you're doing it in the garage anymore, right? They're right. publicly so, traded for God's well, sake. Well, 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 <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I know that, but time. I want to make sure that exactly. they know. Exactly. We know it, that you know too, listening, like, yeah. You know, the guy's like all of a sudden at home like I could do it too in my garage. It was like I remember him saying that. And that's what's impressive about them from the garage the well, publicly that's, traded company that's yeah. huge well and Thank that's you. that's the beauty and and i think okay so the pop rock brand comes out and then uh, what which is again it's kind of a workaround right, right. but you know just to be co- quite frank and 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 the next step is what what's the next product line um i'd say really right now um we're we're putting out a new three gram disposable um live resins we were the first one to do a live resin in this side of the space live resins were incredibly popular in the legal cannabis space and we figured out a way to do that with these delta 8 delta 10 thco um, these different cannabinoid profiles that we've been able to harness from basically CBD. Wow. And what are you getting when as a result from those? Time, well, one thing, when you say the first time, it reminds me of Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Soldier Boy's like, y'all, the first rapper to ever. <laughs> I'm the first rapper to ever, ever, ever. Bobby and Soldier Boy you remind me a lot of life. They look alike. Hold on, hold on, hold Soldier on. Soldier Boy, let's yeah, do a collab. Hey, Hit I was me the up. the first <laughs> cannabis show ever to talk about <laughs> cannabis ever tell them blue you know what I'm saying? Tell like em. come on tell man. <laughs> I'm playing. Yes. Uh, but you know i had to have a good one because we've been yeah. talking with soldier boy yeah. about this event and it's just fun to have that those conversations but go ahead but when you get the results on these pins like that is it more the psychedelic are people getting more anecdotal for pain relief is it more for calm what are some of the results you're seeing from using these rosins that you guys are making with the delta eights and stuff well a lot of that stuff is going to come to the terpene profiles you know the terpene profiles are really what's going to give you the difference in you know whether or not it's going to be more of uh uplifting whether it's going to be more relaxing um so we do indica sativa and hybrids um and each one is going to be a little bit different from each other um so that that being said you know our most popular SKUs right now are going to be our disposables and our edibles um, for sure, 100%. How, how many stores do you guys put, uh, put in right now, approximately? Well, we have nationwide distributing with some of the biggest distributors in the country. Yep. And then we also do direct-to-consumer. Um, we service somewhere around 15,000 shops directly. And then also, you know, through our extensive distribution networks, we're, we're nationwide. Yeah. Um, sure. You can find us in pretty much any any major city um and how does that start that part start working for you guys right you guys just got in the grind yeah. and just started contacting the, the right people i Dude, mean we knock doors man yeah we knock yeah, doors. down doors exactly yeah. you know, you know it, it, it relationship takes that, building bro. Exactly. exactly that's you, all it's it exactly is it. yeah that's exactly it, it, it takes that dude you really got to get out there like i i tell people man you know you you gotta go meet people. You right. gotta go shake their hands, slapping hands, go, kissing babies, exactly breaking it. bread. That's yeah. exactly you it. You really gotta do it. You really the, gotta do it. Man. You know, and then we work. Uh, we're we're at all the main trade shows as well. You know, um, I actually met P Funk at yeah. Champs. You know, yeah. that's that's where we connected. Um, Who? P-Funk. Exactly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we were just playing. <laughs> we fucking with you, P Funk. We love, love you, that. He goes back like four flats on a Cadillac. Oh, exactly. <laughs> That's the man uh, right P- there. P-Funk and it's great back. because you guys get so much publicity from Forbes to Rolling Stones to GQ, Yahoo Finance, like you said, yeah. publicly traded. Yeah. You guys are on the biggest platforms. You guys also have a uh, capability of people that want to become a wholesaler. Right. Which is anybody now listening can sell your products and create a company. Yeah, as long as they have a business license and a tax ID. Send it. So you, you're white crazy. labeling. You're white labeling. We don't white label anymore. Um, our manufacturing, ca- yeah, our manufacturing capabilities are pretty much, they're they're eaten up by what we're doing. Can you um, send it? Do you, will you send it just in the blanks? Yeah, right. Wholesale. The, yeah. It's gonna be finished product. Okay. Yeah, and gotcha. you know we do anything from from boxes to master cases and everything in between. Yeah. The reason I ask is you know there's a, there's a huge. Uh, uh, void for people that wanted white label. Right. You know? But I right. would just give them a minimum order and. 
let's go to work, you know. But if you know, you, it's not you guys' model. We did a lot of that before, and then our flagship brand Herb exploded, and that is just taking Boom. up all, all of our manufacturing capacity. Yeah, I love the name too, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I mean, you. it just sounds. It's 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 Herb. <laughs> that's, all, that's all my brother, man. Yeah. He's, he's an absolute marketing genius. That yeah. guy, I tell you what, he does all of our branding. Um, he's got a really incredible eye for packaging and everything else like that. Fantastic. And he's uh, he follows the trends, man. He knows what's up, and he just seems to have a knack for it. He's just got a he's he's blessed. He's, and how'd you two meet? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, is he, is he the like, older brother, though, Bobby, or younger? Uh, he's the younger brother. So he met you younger. after. Yeah. He met you yeah. after. Yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> so you've been telling him what to do for a long time. You you're yeah. basically the one who got him through this no i can't i can't take any credit for that man he's he's the visionary in this i'm just the mouthpiece well oh, yeah. you're a great <laughs> mouthpiece it's bobby over here the director of sales at lifted made right there it's you cannabis talk one one. we're going to come back look at them online you guys urb finest cbd man, you can them find out. them on social media as well it's cannabis talk 101 we'll be right back after this keep Thank it locked Cali FX's full and broad spectrum hemp extracted products contain CBD, CBG, and some 1,300 plus other elements or naturally derived substances from the hemp and the plant. Check out the tinksters, waters, topicals, and vapors collections. All of them go fill the effects with Cali FX, CaliFX.com, C-A-L-Y-F-X.com. Big shout out to Dennis. And a big shout out to all the staff here, you guys. Thank you for everything you guys do to make everything happen. Jan, Erica, Daniel, Cal, Christian A, Christian S, Denny, P-Funk, hooking this guest up right here. Thank you, brother. Connor, Kimberly, Selena, Sammy, Sagar, Brianna, Cash, Cam, Salar, Nadia, Ali Pitt, Chris Franquino, Jennifer, and Elvis. Thank you guys for and everything. And Jessica just that over you there. Oh, Jessica's over there, too. That's right. Jessica, welcome, babe. And Bobby, we're so impressed with what you guys are doing. And I'm everything kind of impressed. I see it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. He's a little new at it. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> it's just, it, it, you, it literally reminds you of like stuff. an IBM story, right? Like IBM from the garage well. and going publicly <laughs> traded. It's a very similar a concept. Deal. It is. I, I, I commend you. I pat you on the Thank back. You. That's yeah. a big fucking deal. Thank you. It's not easy to do every day. And, you and go, it's hey. with your family. You know what I'm that's saying? What yeah. I mean. It's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah. It gives it that like, yeah, dude. We that's did our, this. Our, our real feel good story. Yeah. Are real your parents story. a part of the company too? Or what are they sitting there going, hey, yeah. can you hire yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, my uh, my dad sits on the board. Um, you know, we were able to help our parents retire and they they help us out with the business. And, you know, they they were uh, they they instilled the entrepreneurial spirit in us. You know, they sure. they had their own small business um, in pumps and international filtration equipment. And you know, from a young age, me and my brother both, we knew that working for somebody else probably wasn't going to be the move for us. So um, this was an opportunity for us to, to do something that, you know, ultimately could provide opportunities for a lot of other people. Um, you know, when we started, like I said, we were just a handful of us. And now we have, you know, over 200 employees, which wow. is incredible. Man, it's incredible to see. It really is. Thank you. Yeah. You know, so I, you guys are doing it. You know, I'll tell you, I, trying. I, I really no, you are for, for me. It's trying is lying, baby. You either do it or you don't. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. doing. That's, That's right. our model That's right, right here. You know, it's care and communicate and trying is lying. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but but, you know, the thing is, is I, I really want to say, like, you know, being an, uh, a company that, you know, that, that comes from that that hustle that understands it you know you have to care right, right. You, you have to you really have to, to communicate well absolutely and and it you know it, it's not that it isn't for everyone because it is for everyone just not everybody's ready to go get it you know that's right. and, and not everybody's willing to go out there and build those relationships and that's why it's like well how did that start that's why i dig into those questions because you know i i like to hear that we sat here and we contacted all these people. We went out and we went and got these deals done. The we, we, we went out it, it, because that's the actual journey, right? You know, of the whole the whole port. Like right. most people, were like you know, the work part of it is what it really happens when you're doing it, right? Right. And everybody, right. everybody's like, "Oh, I want to be here and I want to be there," but they don't realize that you're actually here. You're doing it. 
you know, you're actually doing the, 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 the job of the journey of what you're trying to achieve, but it never feels like you're complete, right? You're never. just always, yeah. No. So you're still always like, what am I doing? It's out of the yeah. next, you yeah. know, it's out of the, out of the next. You're worldwide yeah. and still not in enough places. Yeah, man. Look, it, man, there's more, to, there's, there's always more improvement that can be made. There's always going to be that next product. And we're trying to stay one step ahead of the competition, really, and continue to be the company that other companies are emulating themselves off of and uh, basically, you know, creating the wheel, you know, this particular wheel. And are all products made in one location? Because you yes. guys have over 100 SKUs, all at, where, where's the uh, big our, facility at? Our main facility is in Kenosha, Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, so how big of a location is that? Uh, it's like 25,000 square feet. Oh, wow, that's phenomenal. It's just so great to see such a big location and everything else going down like that. Uh, 200 people, is it all in that location? Yeah, the majority of them are going to be there, and then we also have outside sales reps. You know, I'm based I'm based in San Diego, um, so I mean. We're so the big office there, you're out of San Diego. Where's your brother out of? He's out of Kenosha. Okay, so he's in the headquarters, and you're just grinding locations after from San Diego. Uh, you know, with sales, you know, I'm anywhere, I'm, and everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. As it, long as you're on the computer, making phone calls, and going it. to visit people. That's it. That's what it is. And yeah. with 200 people there, that's great. So some things we like to do, Bobby, uh, once again, liftedmode.com, liftedmade, excuse me, L-I-F-T-E-D-M-A-D-E.com is the big parent website. Go there, you guys. Check out what I'm talking about because it's overwhelming. I yeah. can't even sit here and talk about each one. You just heard the, the best ones. <laughs> I mean, those are the best sellers and the best and the, how we first started. My point is there's hundreds to look at. Go look at them. They sound fantastic. You heard Bobby say what they are. So, Bobby, congratulations. We Thank like to you. do what we call the high five with a lot of our guests. And simple questions. I'm going to ask you the first one. Sure. As Blue just went and handled the Zoom call right now, it'll just be you and I, Bobby. How old were you the first time you smoked cannabis, and where'd you get it from? Uh, I was like 12 or 13, and I stole a roach from a neighbor. Oh, really? Yeah, it was in his mom, my, my, my friend's mom's fucking, uh, it was in her ashtray. And was I was in like, Virginia? This was, this was actually was it, Illinois. Was, oh, in Illinois. Yeah, okay. in Illinois. How fun. So yeah. it's a little whippersnapper, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, this brother. There it is. I'll yeah. smoke that. What's your favorite way to use cannabis? I'm a joint, blunt kind of guy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Is there a certain blunt, like as a rapper, or does anyone, any rapper? You know, hilariously enough, the Wet Mango by, by, uh, by P-Funk's old company, what used to be my jam. Royal but, Blunts? Yeah, Royal Blunts. That was the one, the Wet Mango. <sighs> Good old P-Funk. Oh, Craziest place you ever used or smoked cannabis? <sighs> I should probably not admit this on air, but I smoked a hitter on a plane <laughs> when I was like real flower, a little yeah. hitter like that. Ooh. Yeah, it was back in the day. We we're talking fifteen, the, and, and 15 that was, years ago. Oh, the real flower, big no no. Yeah, when you flush you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Please don't let that smoke go out this door. Please don't <laughs> let that smoke. And I better be smoking in the back. Oh God, don't let him catch me. <laughs> That's right. That is a crazy place. Uh, Always crazy. You're like, oh, don't be nobody cops. No cops when I get off this plane. Right, no cops when I get right, off this plane. Right. What is your go-to munchies after you get high? ice cream or in and out at this point you know a good burger is always yeah, good or what's that ice cream though what is that <sighs> strawberry probably I like strawberry ice cream funny thing is last Classic. night i had strawberry ice cream with a little granola in it see a little honey granola and some little bit of strawberry it's got good taste it was a good night last night it's got good taste if you could smoke cannabis with anybody bobby dead or alive who would it be and why i know this is gonna be Kind of a basic answer, but Bob Marley. I mean, just the legendary Bob Marley. I would love to just chop it up with the man that basically brought the Rastafarian movement to the masses, you know, brought the herb to the people. That would just be, that'd be an honor. You know what I he mean? He definitely does feel like he's done that. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer, and I always think of Bob, too. Thinking, oh, my God, he would be great. To be insane. <laughs> and, and thinking of the time when I was introduced, or probably everyone was introduced to them at whatever age they were, we were probably smoking. Right. You know what I mean? You were introduced to Bob Marley music, right. smoking a split, That's smoking right. a joint, just smoking a blunt, taking it's like a bongo. like Bob Marley and Sublime. You know, those are the no, number one and number two. You Sublime know? is your second one, That'd huh? That'd be number two, Bradley. That's funny. Did, we didn't have the Sublime folks. Did we have Sublime folks here? We did, huh? Who did we, we have? We had the drummer from Sublime. The drummer from Sublime on the show. That's funny. I, was, I thought so, yeah. That was a good day. Sublime's a good one. Yeah. We could probably hook that up for you. That'd be fantastic. Come around, stick around. Anything else, Bobby, that we're forgetting to talk about? Lifted, made, that uh, your company, you guys, fam. Like once again, folks, this is what we like about this. When we hear about companies like this company, like a P Funk brings it to us, going, "This is what these guys like," because you're everything that we like. Thank you. Family-owned business, starting from the fucking garage, mm -hmm. publicly traded, doing the do. This is what the struggle is about, folks. If you're listening, going, "Can I get into the game?" Bobby just Absolutely. explained it to you. To yeah. you. 
Absolutely. I mean, you know, a little support from his mom and dad, a little startup from a from a cigarette fucking vape thing. Yeah, from a little 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 two bit vape company <sighs> to hundreds of SKUs to hundreds of SKUs and nationwide distribution. It truly is a dream come true. It is, and it could be your dream too. I mean, th- there's opportunity there. Liftedmade.com is the site. Thank you so much, Bobby, you, for brother. your time. Anything else you want to get out there and let everybody know about? I think we anything else you do. So we can't wait to do more things with you guys Thank and your you. company. God willing, you guys will be seeing him around us as he's a young whippersnapper, and he's a good, strong one. It's Cannabis Talk 101 with Blue and Joe Grande, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. And if nobody else loves you, folks, we We do. do. Thank you for listening to Cannabis Talk 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to the show now.